Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FTL. My name is DeadM5337, and we are getting ready to go onwards into pirate-controlled space. This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it has houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets continue jump oh there's a store right away ooh so here here yeah all right especially well-armed pirate approaches you hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed no 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 and they can't harm us, so we're just going to go straight for their engines. Oh, they can harm us. Because that shoots two, that shoots one. So if they do get in sync, they can harm us. Which is annoying. So... They're out of sync for a little while. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that and take down their Zoltan shield. There we go. And then we're gonna switch over to the engines. And I guess we miss for no reason. Mm. Good job. And let's shoot one more. Let's go. All right, we surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyways. Oh, uh, we'll accept the offer. Why not? All right, we're gonna put you in sensors. S save stations, good. All right, we're gonna go here. All right. Pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack, turn to fight. Ooh, no, not, not two. Let's take out their weapons. Let's go. Uh, there. Double miss. Ooh. Nice. Good, 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 good. Now they aren't uh, protecting anything. We can just go. Oh, they went to surrender, and I just said no for um, no reason. There you go. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice. Oh, well, you shouldn't go and do that option. All right. A well-armed transport ship and squadron of fighters are in orbit nearby. You are wary of their trustworthiness, but beggars can't be choosers. All right. Still squat for weapons. Huh. Fire beam, I mean... No, we're just going to close and say screw it. Alright. <clears throat> Onwards. A small pirate ship messages you. That sure is a shiny ship you got there. You, f you fire a warning shot across the bow and they respond, Hey, no need for violence. It was just a comment. <laughs> Boy, you got some pretty lips. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right. Onwards. 
The pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging by the fact that they are attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Attack the pirate! You power up your weapons and move to engage. Continue. Ooh, they have double shields. Nice. All right, come on. Charge that swarm. Charge that swarm. Let's go. There we are. Do, 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 do. And we're going to shoot directly at the shields again to go and keep those down. Good job. I don't really care about their weapons, but I do care about their shields and their engines and all such stuff. It looks like they don't want to fight and they're trying to escape. Continue. No, you're not escaping. You're not escaping nothing. Don't make me waste another missile. Yes, good job. Searching the remains, you find the cargo was military-grade dr uh, drone schematics. You bring them aboard and install them on your ship. An anti-combat drone. Nice. All right. So, I need to get to here or here. So, if I head up, this is fine. Because this one touches this one. So... Let's go. Onwards. Uh, great, the repair station. Um, we're going to just ignore the repair station. No reason to go and visit it. A heavily damaged ship is drifting near the beacon. You receive a communication. Hello, nice of you to drop by. As you can see, our ship has seen better days. Yours looks quite nice. I think we might be taking it from you. In <clears throat> Intruders beam on board. Oh, phooey. Fix that. Lockdown. All right, we're gonna close all these doors because we can. And we're just gonna keep on venting these guys out. There we are. Everybody is suffocated who doesn't belong here. Oxygen's back to where it belongs, yay. Uh, we're gonna put the engine dude to go and repair this. We're gonna put you to repair that. We're gonna bring you over here. We're gonna bring you down there. Oh, big stretch. All right. Everyone back to your stations. Let's go. Power up the swarm. There we are. And we'll jump. So we can go here first and then here, and then we're good. So let's go. At first it appears you've arrived at an empty system, but a ship appears from behind the planet and hails you. Ha ha, the dread pirate Tuco, prepare to die. I'm the dread pirate Tuco, sorry, prepare to die. Continue. Oh, the Dread Pirate Tuco, oh no, whatever shall I do? I shall fire upon the weapons because you have a missile system. Serial? No. All 
All right, I fired my weapon system a little early, but that's okay. Because it did turn off their missile launcher, and that's all I really cared about. Now it's just keeping the thing shut down. Yeah, ta -ta. Boom. You've made your point. We're beaten. Take these and leave us in our shame. No. No, you get to suck it. All right, we aren't firing missiles. We're just gonna let it be. Because we're already down to eight missiles. No reason to go and do that if we don't have to. All right, ship explodes, Lima has a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice. All right, jump. We're going to jump there, but first we're going to upgrade our ship a little bit. Uh, let's just do one. Let's try and keep close to 80 scrap, just in case we run into a store that, you know, after we free somebody. Uh, <clears throat> this beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Oh, again with the Dang teleporty bomb. No bombs. I hate bombs. Oh, you're a jerk. All right, well. There we are. Stop that. Vent there. And everybody return back to your stations. Turn the swarm back on. Not that we plan on using it, but you know, just to go ahead and have it. All right, ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit number one to continue and jump right away and hopefully get before the solar player actually hits. Cause what happened was they basically stopped it just before the sound effect goes. And after the sound effect goes is when it hits, but because the sound effect technically started, it didn't activate. So essentially what I'm trying to do is uh, get this jump in a millisecond before fire happens. All right, ship emerges quite far from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Attack the ship. Oh, okay. So you're annoying. That can hit my crystal shots. So this is going to be annoying. Boom. All right, ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice. Good. I, I needed to fire that missile before uh, you got that thing recharged. The anti-missile drone. All right. Once you arrive, your 
your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and are trying to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. <laughs> Jerk! <gasps> you double hacked me! How dare you! And then you damaged my engines for no reason. You're a dick. <sighs> Alright, just keep on firing on their weapon system so that they don't get their scrap missile up. There we go. And now we're going to target their engines because their weapons are not coming up anytime soon, but ours keep on being shut down. Boom! Look at that. Alright, now they ain't dodging squat. So, even though they're going to shut down our, our weapons one more time... Oh, we got shut off before they shut it down. Stupid. All right, with your pirate ship, this with the pirate ship destroyed, your ship systems are restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. Nice. All right. So let's upgrade our ship. We're gonna upgrade that. And we should upgrade the doors. And that's close to 80. If we don't power up our engines, that's fine. Great. So now our doors will at least stop people from uh, teleporting and just running roughshod all over the place. That's good. Jump to the exit. All right. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. All right. So next time, we'll be heading to the, the Mantis homeworlds, because why not? Uh, and then we will probably go down, because there's three uh, hostile sectors. In hopes that one of them is the uh, Rock Home World. But that's the problem for next time. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please be sure to go and like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.